Hello, this video is about the Manufacturing Inventory and Sales Manager Excel template. The version 2 has been recently published. If you are someone who has been using version 1 and now would like to get the benefits and enhancements of version 2, then you can follow along this video to see how quickly we can migrate the data from version 1 and paste it into version 2. So now I have both files open. Version 1 with my sample data is on the left and version 2 with no information. It's a blank new template for version 2 on the right. We will be taking the data from version 1, copying them and then pasting it into version 2. Now the first thing you'll notice is that in version 2 you would actually enter the business information this is not available in version 1 so you have to enter it directly in version 2. We will move on to the products page sheet. In the product sheet I have some sample data here I'm gonna get the product sheet on the new template as well. So now what we're going to do here is click in any cell inside the table basically where the data is and then press Control A and that will select all the cells in your table. Control C to copy the data and you will see the dancing ants around the area of selection. And now I'm going to click on, click in cell A6 in the new template and I'm going to do Control V. And there you go. So now we have moved the data on the products to the new template. There are two additional columns in this template. So the first one is holding the product as finished goods. And in your version one of the template, you have either selected yes or no. So let's say you have selected yes and you were holding finished goods um, as in, in your inventory. Then you would actually select all of this cells and you can just select in the first cell and then hit control shift arrow all at this down arrow all at the same time control shift down arrow that selects all the cells and now remove your fingers from the keyboard and then press y e s yes and before you enter the enter key press control and hit the enter key and now you have entered yes in all the products if you in your version one of the template you have been using no then you don't even need to enter anything in there just leave it blank as it is so that's as simple as migrating the product information from the version one to version two tax rate is entirely new if you want to apply taxes in calculations then you can type in your percentage numbers and if you don't have any applicable tax then leave it blank moving over to the raw materials now the raw materials I'm going to do the same click anywhere inside the data control A will select all of it control C will copy it now over here click in cell A7 press control V and that will move all the data over to the new template and we have an additional column for reorder points so you will actually type in whatever your reorder point is for each of the raw materials. And now manufacturing details, there's no change to this. Go to the top. Now in this one, you only want to select these three columns of information. So I'm going to click however you want to select. So what I'm doing is clicking on the first cell A7, pressing the shift key and press the right arrow one more time and now I have all the three cells selected now keeping the shift key I'm going pressed I'm going to press the control and down arrow both so shift control and down arrow at the, all at the same time now I've selected all the cells control C for copying and I'm going to come over here press in cell A7 press control V I have migrated all my data to the new template. Now I am going to the 
order details on the version 1. In version 2, we have a new sheet called partners. So partners information is basically about your customers and suppliers, address and phone number and all that. These will be used for display in the invoices. So what we're going to do here is to take the partner names, select all the partner names that I have. So I've selected all of them. I'm going to click here and click in partner name, press control V. Now that will paste everything here. We want to remove duplicates from this selection. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the data ribbon, remove duplicates and hit OK. And now you have a unique list of partner names in your partners table. And then you can type in partner IDs and a quick way to type in your own partner ID is just types a few in and then drag along. Now you have your partner ID. You can type in the addresses and email addresses and phone numbers. Now moving on to the next sheet is the orders table. So now what we're going to do is move the order information from the orders in here on the left which is the version 1 of the template over to version 2 here and one thing which is very unique here is the orders in the orders sheet on the in the new version should be unique orders so meaning one order should only exist in one row and not more than one row so in order to do that we will have to remove duplicates and I'll explain how so first copy these three columns come over here control V paste and then here select the partner information control V paste so now we have moved all this but this has duplicates you can see that P1 is the same order it's repeating twice M1 repeats twice so in order to remove that I'm gonna hit remove duplicates and hit OK and now it can see that I only have the unique orders great now we have done that we are ready to move on to the order details page in the new template and what we're going to do here is basically select order number and then paste it and product expected date and will be copied paste it product name quantity unit price so all of this can be selected, pasted, there we go. So now we have pasted product name, unit quantity, unit price, unit discount is a new column and so if you want you can use it as you move forward and then everything else is automatically calculated. So now we have moved the order details page so I'm going to make this sheet larger. We have migrated all the data now and let's go and look at the product report and before we look at this let's hit refresh all and you saw that immediately the data changes so it's very important that you refresh the data because the calculations will now get updated it's very simple go to the data ribbon hit refresh all so now immediately you can see that the calculations are coming through and the raw material report also now can show um, reorder point for raw materials invoice and now you can just type in an order number there you go and now you can even do it for manufacturing order or purchase order and you'll see that the invoice gets automatically calculated and you can easily print this or export to PDF. Now and finally the sales report is automatically updated for you with the information that we have pasted so we're all good to go. That is how quickly we were able to migrate the data from version 1 to version 2 of this Excel template and if you are trying to do this and if you have any questions please leave me an email at inzara at gmail.com and I will get back to you as soon as I can and I can definitely help in migrating your data from the first version to the second version. Thank you very much for watching the video.